Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True of Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a bar chart uh, with vertical metric lines using Microsoft Excel. Uh, this example is in Excel 2007. Uh, and what we're going to have is, as you can see here, we have four different bars on this bar chart. And uh, we've got separate metric lines for each one of the bars as well as I've added an average line across all of the bars. Uh, this is a combination chart using a bar chart and an XY scatter with straight lines to create the vertical lines. So we had a user in the MrExcel.com user forums that uh, was having trouble or difficulty setting this up. So I wanted to do this tutorial and see if this would help. Uh, once again, uh, you can visit ExcelDashboardTemplates.com for more great video and step-by-step -step tutorials like this. So let's go ahead and get started. I have our data set up uh, for the call for the bars and a bar chart is one that goes to the right. So we're going to highlight those. We're going to go up to our insert main, uh, ribbon. We're going to select the bar chart and we're going to add a 2D bar chart. So clustered bar. Uh, let me get that over in the right section so that we can see it appropriately. Zoom out a little bit. Um, so as you can see, it's created our four bars, just like our uh, example graph. And now we want to go ahead and add vertical lines to each one of these bars, as well as the average line. So how do we do that? So we've got the data set up over on the left-hand side um, for each one of the, col uh, the bars. And uh, you've got them right here, D through A metric lines. Um, and then we kind of go back to our original grammar school days, where we have X's and Y's and an XY makes one point and if we combine that with another XY that makes a second point and between those two points it will draw a line so uh, these are our X's and these are our Y's um, and so we've got X's for each one of the metric lines uh, that correspond with where they need to be um, and then the Y's tell them how long or uh, high and low to make the vertical lines so what we're going to do is let's select the chart we're going to go up to our design ribbon and we're going to click on the select data option in the data group. So I can click on that and we're going to add a new series to the column, the bar chart. So we've got the series name. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the D metric line, which is our first vertical line that we want to make at the top. We're going to make that the series name and so it'll make it dynamic so we don't have to add that as labels or, or whatever we would like. So. Um, but you see it's already started one and it's going to make it a, another bar. Well, we're, we're going to change that, but right now it doesn't really matter. So we're going to insert the series name and just click on OK because uh, we need to change that bar to an XY scatter with straight lines. So we're going to select that in our chart. And we've got, once we have it selected, we can go up to the design ribbon and we're going to select change the chart type. So in the design ribbon, we're going to select change chart type and we're going to change this chart type uh, to the XY scatter group. And uh, if we scroll this up a little bit, you will see the choices that we have. And over here on the right is the scatter with straight lines. So let's go ahead and select that one. And uh, whoa, where'd our bar go? Well, it's gone because it's now drawing a data point. Um, since it doesn't have a second point, it can't draw the line. And uh, so it's on the chart. You just can't really see where it is. Uh, but it doesn't matter because we're going to go change and add the right data for that line. So let's go up to the design ribbon, select data. We're going to go back to our D metric series. Click on that, click on edit, and you'll see we now have X's and Y's to choose from as opposed to just the length of the column. So let's go ahead and select the X's. And so click in there. We're going to choose these two columns uh, and then the Y series. Um, for that same metric line is that four and the three right there. And let's click on OK and look our line is already before we click on OK is our lines already there. Uh, it's going to be off a little bit because it's trying to figure out where you want to draw these and make sure you have header room so it's not at the top of the chart. We'll have to fix our axis later to move that line up but uh, it's already started to do what we want to do. So let's go ahead and add another series. Click on add and we're going to add the C metric line for the next bar. And so uh, we can have our four different lines. So we click on add. We've got our C metric line as the name, our series, 
uh, is these points here for the three and our y values are down here for there and look it's our drawn our green line as you can see on our c bar let's go ahead and add the b metric line choose our x's and then choose our y's click on ok there's our purple line let's go ahead and add the final one for the a bar chart metric we've got our x's and we've got our y's you can see it's it's a pretty simple process, um, but uh, uh, certainly if you're not quite sure exactly how to do it, this tutorial can really help you set those steps along. We do need to add that average line to show you we can do one across all the bars since these aren't bar specific. Uh, it's just where we're drawing these lines. Um, I've set up the formulas to look for the maximum value. Um, I'm sorry, for the average value and then the maximum y and the minimum y, and there is our average line. Now we want to make sure we click on OK on the select data source right here if we don't choose this all of our lines will disappear even though you see them on the chart if we don't click on OK they'll disappear so make sure you do that uh, now we're getting pretty close um, we need to adjust the lines on top of the bars so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this legend we don't need that in there anymore uh, and it's looking pretty close to our sample chart that we're trying to make um, we've got the different bars but they're off so how we're going to get those to move is Excel's trying to fit it best into our chart. We want to change this axis uh, to give it to our points. Some of this might be a little bit trial and error, so uh, but we're going to go up to the layout menu, axis grouping. We're going to go to our secondary vertical axis. We're going to go down and choose more vertical axis options. And in that dialog box that pops up, we want to change our maximum and fix it to four that will move the lines to the right spot so we would click on fixed we can change this to four click on close uh, and look our lines are set up the right way uh, so you may want to make sure you have your uh, axis set up right let me undo that and just let's show you that again so oops deleted it so um, our lines aren't in the right spot because I didn't have the right value in there so you can also right click on this click on format axis it pulls it up you can change that fixed from 4.5 to whoops change the wrong value so our lines are all gone they're way up high now so right click on that whoops there we go fixed don't know why I typed in zero let's go ahead and do four as our maximum it has changed our graph to look very very close to the final one we can delete that secondary y-axis uh, and <clears throat> we'll be good to go um, with that so our bars and lines still line up now we've got everything really close to the sample but the only thing we need to do is we need to make the metric lines a little fatter so let's go ahead and do that let's click on each metric line uh, and let's format that and make it fatter I've right clicked on it we're going to do format data series we're going to change the line style we're going to make that line style fatter by making the width four points. And uh, you can see it's already made it fatter there. Now you don't need to deselect those or hit close. You could just select the next series that you want and change the width to four. Select the next series and change that width to four. And uh, so on until you've gotten the right thickness that you're looking for. Line style for, whoops, I'm didn't think I did that right. No, I didn't. It's still skinny, so let's go fix that. Right click on it. And uh, we're going to change that to four in the line style under the format data series. And now check this out. We've got the exact same chart that we're looking for the thickness. Um, we've got the metrics lined up with each bar chart. We've got an average line going across them. Um, so this is very handy dashboard. Uh, model that you can use and develop when you're developing your dashboards uh, so let's see yep um, we've got it looking just like we want as our original one so thank you very much for coming and watching my tutorial please visit my website uh, excel dashboard templates.com sign up for our RSS feed so you'll make sure you get the next in the series uh, that will help you build amazing and dynamic Excel dashboard templates uh, for your companies and your executives while your boss uh, leave me some feedback and comments. Let me know what else you'd like to see or you're having problems with. I'll make one of these tutorials and you can see exactly how to do it. Once again, this is Steve True with Excel.
dashboardtemplates.com. Thanks, and see you in the next episode.